So this brings us now to the notion of spa spam farming, right? Where the idea is what I kind of alluded to, where this t-shirt seller creates a fake set of web pages that they all link to, to his own web page, and all these web pages in their anchor text says that the target page is about movies. And this is what is known as spam farming. So Google versus spammers, round two. So, right, once the Google became a dominant search engine, really spammers beca become trying to figure out ways how to trick um, Google search results. And what they did is they created what is called spam farms, where basically the idea is that we want to concentrate and collect the page rank and kind of funnel it towards a single um, target page. And there are there is many kinds of web spam and many kinds of link, link spam. And in particular, you many, many times I'm sure you have visited a web page where, um, where, you, where you come and see um, things like this that basically just have a set of hyperlinks uh, to some other web page. And the idea is exactly as I mentioned, that these pages basically funnel their page rank score importance uh, to the to the high value target web pages. So the way we can think about this now is that we want to manipulate the structure of the, of the web graph in order to create new links in such a way that given web pages will get uh, high importance. Conceptually, we can take the web and split the web into three types of web pages. We can call, um, we can call them these classes based on the spammer's viewpoint. So for example, inaccessible web pages are basically pages that the spammer cannot touch. So these are pages on the rest of the web that the um, spammer cannot touch. Then we have a notion of accessible pages. These are basically pages that the spammer can touch. So for example, spammer can add uh, fake blog comments, um, spammer can add uh, fake uh, posts um, to, to various types of pages, and all these posts would kind of point to the target page. And of course, the spammer has also its own set of pages. We call these the pages the web spammer owns. And these are completely controlled by the spammer and you know may spam multiple domain names. There may be millions of these pages and so on. So now the question is, what can the spammer do? Um, and the spammer's goal, right, is really to maximize the page rank score of a given page T, right? So there is this uh, t-shirt selling web page, let's call it page T, that the web spammer wants to improve, improve its page rank score. So the technique the web spammer will use is that it will get many link links from accessible pages pointing to the target page T. And this way they will create a, what is called a link farm such that the, the, all the page rank importances of all these pages kind of funnel their importance back to, the, to our target page T. One possible um, strategy for a link farm is created here. So basically, this is a topology of how a link farm may be organized, right? So the blue, the blue um, uh, cloud um, shows the inaccessible part of the web. Then this inaccessible part of the web has in and out links to and from the accessible part of the web. What the web spammer, spammer can do, make, make this accessible part of the web, as I said before, these are kind of blog, po uh, blog posts and things like that, they can create comments that, that link into the target web page T. And then what the web spammer can also do, they can take these web pages that they own and they can make all these web pages both point to the target page T and the target page T can point uh, back to these pages. And the idea is that there is the number of these pages is huge. Um, we will call the number of these pages to be M and think of them as millions of farm web pages because they are very cheap to, to create. So now this is actually one of the most common and most effective uh, link farm uh, topologies. Now let's start to compute and let's try to con uh, convince ourselves what is the page rank score of node T. So basically the, the page we want to boost its page rank score. So to do this, we will do the following. Let's, let's use the, the symbol X to denote the page rank score contributed by all the accessible pages um, here uh, denoted as blue node, um, and how much page rank they contribute to T. And let's use the Y to be the, to be the page rank score of node T. So now, first thing we want to compute is what is the page rank score of every of the farm pages that the web spammer owns. That is very easy to compute. 
we know what is the score of um, node t, and it is only the node t that links to the to the forum pages. So the node t takes its page rank score y, divides it evenly among all the m pages that are owned by the by the spammer, and gives them a beta fraction of of its page rank score uh, to each one of them. And then, of course, each of these um, owned uh, spam uh, pages also receives a fraction of the score due to the random jumps. The random jumps happen with probability 1 minus beta, and there is n pages in total on the web, so that is 1 minus beta over n. So now, given that we now know what is the score of every web page that we own, this is denoted as red nodes, let's also compute what is the value of y. So the value of y, y is the page rank score of node uh, t, is simply x, which is the amount of page rank contributed by the accessible pages, plus beta times m, and now the, um, the pages, uh, the contribution of page rank scores from the pages that we own. So this is beta times y divided by m plus uh, 1 minus beta plus n um, plus 1 minus beta uh, divided by n, where m now is the number of pages that the spammer owns, and n is the number of pages that are uh, total on the web. Okay? So if you think about this and um, uh, multiply uh, with beta, beta m and uh, solve the system, what we, what we get is that y equals x plus beta squared y plus some uh, constant terms. Right? And what we will do is we will take this last term, one, 1 minus beta over n. This is very small because the web is huge, n is large, so we will, we will ignore this one. So let's keep looking at what do we get. What we basically get is we get something that is like y equals x over 1 minus beta squared plus um, m divided by n plus some constant, where this constant is beta over beta plus 1. Okay? Um, m is the number of pages that the spammer owns, and n is the number of pages uh, that are on the web. So what this means is that the page rank score of our target page t equals basically the amount of page rank score that comes from the accessible part of the web plus the ratio of m to n multiplied by some constant. So what does this mean is basically that the, the more web pages the web spammer owns, the bigger the m, the higher the score of the target page y will be. So in some sense, web spammer can create arbitrarily large number of pages. So m can be arbitrarily large, which means that the page rank uh, score of the target page t can also get arbitrarily large. And of course, in reality, n is huge, right? The size of the web graph uh, is huge, and uh, m um, doesn't need to be that large because all we need to do is we need to boost the, the score of the target page t not to be the most important page on the web, but to be more important than, than some other pages on the web. So even not, not too big link farms can already have a big effect, right? So now this is basically the problem, and the question is how do we now go and detect such links, link farms on the web?